Hey guys, this is Peter Schrommel, and you're watching my film diary. Just gotten back from to watch Kingsman: The Secret Service. It's great. It's a good movie. I love it. I think I love it because it's a James Bond-ish type of movie. It takes a lot of its ideas and storyline from James Bond. One of the things I do like about the film is the over-the-top storyline, which you get the over-the-top bad guy, you get over-the-top gadgets, over-the-top action scenes and death scenes, which I do enjoy, which is which the spy genre misses. You get that from Archer, the cartoon series, but that's more of a cartoony feel, where this is, I won't say more realistic, but it's live action. Uh, the director is same as Kick-Ass, which is the same type of style of action. The action in this movie is done extremely well. It's a new type of shaky cam, but not a very irritating one. I, I can see it's edited in quite in a smooth way, which is enjoyable. Colin Firth, however you pronounce his name, uh, is surprisingly a great uh, action star. And I quite liked him in this role. He's very gentle, very smooth touch to everything. But has a has a kick to his uh, he has a kick to everything. Um, Samuel L. Jackson also plays in this film, which I quite enjoyed. He, he, he can see he loves playing these cartoon villain types. Um, Mark Strong is also in this with Michael Caine. Both of those actors I would like to see in more films. Mark Strong especially he seems to be a very good actor these days. Mark Hamill has a small cameo in this film. Surprisingly, he does a, actually quite a good job. I'm glad to see him having a, a, a little better career just before Star Wars kicks off. The unknown actor that plays um, Eggsy, he's actually quite a good actor. I liked his role. I liked it. Uh, he has a, a proper gangster, well, so slum accent of London, which I enjoyed. There are complaints about this film. There are stuff I felt wasn't necessary, but I can see why the director put it in here. So one of the things was the start of the film, where he gave the lead actor Exy a medallion with a number to call and a few words to repeat uh, when he calls the number. And 17 years later, he remembers those words for some reason. I don't, I don't see that realistic. Although this film isn't that realistic. One unrealistic thing in this film, which I quite enjoyed, was I'm not going to give it away, but heads do explode and they make this real comic relief style pop out of it which i thought was extremely well done it's unrealistic by far not even cartoons go as far as it it was quite enjoyable seeing it in that scene the other one is the ending which has a, a hint to james bond which i quite enjoyed another comment i can make which i enjoyed was colin firth and samuel jackson have a few words to say with each other and they keep commentating on Bond, which I feel like kind of breaking the fourth wall in a sense, but they don't. They comment about the movie, and I quite enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed the Samuel L. Jackson as the villain. He played a pretty good villain at the end of the day. And yeah, I would recommend watching this film. Don't go out of your way to see it. If you are a fan of the director and kick-ass and that type of films, watch it. If you're a James Bond fanatic like I am myself, it is a must-see just to see the spoof and the funny end to it. Um, the action scenes are done quite well. I'll say it's uh, comparable to Quantum of Solace. Not as good as Skyfall, but comparable to Quantum of Solace. So yes, this is one of my favorite movies of the year. I had a lot of complaints about it, but it is still one of my favorite. This favorite movies at this point since it it's just fun it's just extremely fun movie very violent but extremely fun okay guys thank you for listening please comment down comment down below tell me how i can improve my channel